A cluster point is also called an accumulation point. So cluster point essentially for which we define that for every delta greater than zero, the neighborhood, delta neighborhood C minus delta C plus delta intersection with A. Okay, intersection with A minus C itself. So that means that this intersection contains some point. This should not be equal to 5. Some point excluding C. Okay, apart from C, this should have some point. That's, that, that is what is um, an accumulation point or a cluster point. Now, we call it an accumulation point because by choosing smaller and smaller delta neighborhood, you know, by choosing smaller and smaller delta neighborhoods, okay, of C, what we can obtain, we can obtain a lot of points. We can obtain points of A which are closer and closer to C. We can we can obtain points of A which are closer and closer to C. Okay. So thus what we are doing, we are accumulating points. So we call, we get accumulation of points. Okay. So we get accumulation of points. Accumulation of points around C, points of A around C. So that makes it, that makes C an accumulation point. Now one thing though which we should note is that any accumul accumulation point, okay, an accumulation, accumulation or cluster or limit point of A might not be in A, might not be in A. We will look into the detail of this in, in, in our coming video, but just think of the corner points, okay? Just think of the corner points. So, that is, and uh, what we call a set of accumulation point, we call the set of accumulation point as say A dash or L of A. L of A denotes the set of limit points, limit points. Okay, this is a set of limit points. Now, from limit points or accumulation point to isolation points. So now, isolation points are opposite of limit points in some manner. So, what they essentially are, let me just define that for you. The definition says that those points in A, those points in A, which are not accumulation points which are not accumulation point, accumulation points of A are called isolated points of A, are called isolated points of A. A, okay. So essentially, you know, to be more precise, what we're trying to say is that C would be an isolated point if there exists a delta neighborhood of C which does not contain any other point of A apart from C. So we, if you can find such a close delta neighborhood such that you can't have any point of A, then this point will be called then this point will be called isolated point, okay? It, this point will be called isolated point if you can have a neighborhood in which there won't be any other point but C. But in any case, isolated points are of less interest because it does not give us, it's a, it's a very, you know, 
a limiting point of view. We do not use it much. What we use generally are the are essentially your cluster points to define limit. We use cluster point, limit point, or accumulation point for that matter. Uh, but yes, the set of isolated points will be set of isolated points. Isolated by definition itself, it says that it will be essentially A minus L. A, okay, you take out all the accumulation points from the set A, you will get the set of isolated points.